Leaders, unlike the Deputy President William Aruto, have set demands for the BBI rally scheduled for Nakuru on the 21st of March. The MPs have stood ground that they can only recognize and hand over their memorandum to the President or his deputy, but not to ODM leader Raila Odinga. Nakuru rally, which was scheduled for this Saturday, was postponed amidst talks of political hostility towards the top steering organ. Here's Jeff Kiru with the details. The reggae appears to have been paused momentarily as the Building Bridges rallies enters the Rift Valley region. The eighth edition of the BBI rally, which was scheduled to take place at Afra Stadium on Saturday, was postponed until 21st amid sharp divisions in the region. Leaders from the region have put demands to the planning committee, insisting that they will only present their proposals to Jubilee Party top leadership. We are not giving Leila Odinga. Since that region, we are Jubilee. If we to give, we to pay a present to Etu, I'm a deputy, I'm a to pay Haji. We cannot give the people. Deputy President William Ruto's allies have alleged that the building bridges rallies have been hijacked by ODM leader El Odinga and turned into a forum to hit other deputy presidents. BBI is not about Ruto. We don't want that. We don't want that. That's a bedroom for deputy. We want peace. Now we finished with the politics of 2017. We are dealing with politics of 2022 and 2020. So those who still believe that the, the power games of 2017 are still with them, the, 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 the equation has changed. BBI rallies had been scheduled to take place both in Nakuru for the South Rift region and Eldoret for the North Rift region. But Eldoret edition was called off and lumped together with Nakuru as it emerged that the region was turning hostile. There is, there is nothing, there is nothing, there is no question of hostile ground. It is only those who are against BBI, the, the wolf in sheepskin, who have been against this whole process from the beginning, are the ones who make those wild allegations. From its inception, Raila Odinga's axis in the BBI has been steering the rallies after the deputy president's side boycotted the event, but later made an about turn after the Kisi and Kakamega rallies and now wants to take charge of the Rift Valley edition, a region perceived as Ruto's stronghold. Wakuje, lakini pia heshima zetu tupewe, wale ambao tumechagulo uwe ni MCA, uwe wewe ni nominated, sisi wote ni viongozi. Tupewe ili heshima inatufa. When you come there to Nakuru, you know you are also invited guests in Nakuru. You will not come and destabilize our house. So we come in peace, we want peace, and we do not want Madarao Kidogo Kidogo. The president of the people, you are Naongosa, Namemwachia Yote, maybe then we did not win. Can the president tell us the truth? Because I'm the president of the people, he is the one leading everything. Kubadisha Katiba, Kufanya Kira Kitu Yote, Nye. Did we win the election? Can we know that from the president, whether we want? Afraha Stadium, the venue, was the altar for the political marriage for Jubilee's President Uru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto when they decided to form a coalition between Ruto's URP party and Kenyatta's TNA ahead of the 2013 general election. Nakuru being one of the regions where Deputy President Ruto enjoys massive following, perhaps it's the reason why his allies want to take charge of the BBI meeting. The BBI rallies are expected to end this month, with Nairobi County being the home stretch. Jeff. Kiroi KT News.